The purpose of the Ambassadors Program is to foster a new generation of Native American leaders based on a set of indigenous core cultural values. The Ambassadors Program is uh, founded in a set of core cultural values, uh, what AIO affectionately calls the four R's. Relationship. In relationship, we understand that we are all related. We're related to all things. Responsibility. When you have a responsibility, whether it's to your family, to your tribe, that you have also a responsibility to Mother Earth. The other is redistribution, is how do we share? We had giveaways, potlashes. We had all the very complex ways of, of uh, balancing out our societies. The Ambassadors Program is organized around four gatherings. The first meeting takes place here in New Mexico, uh, where we have a really strong Native American community. The second gathering is national in scope. It takes place in Washington, D.C., where the ambassadors meet with national leaders. The third gathering takes place outside of the United States and is international in scope, where the ambassadors are able to explore a global perspective. The fourth gathering takes place in a Native American community or in an urban setting with a large Native American population. The last gathering really is, uh, comes full circle and the ambassadors are able to take what they've learned during their time in the ambassadors program and learn how to weave that into the context of their own community so that they can be effective for their own tribe. AIO has now kind of evolved into doing international work with our AMO people from New Zealand and now with Bolivia because they're moving very rapidly and they're into state of change. They need a new view of what leadership is and how do they incorporate it in this new sense of globalization. They come from all different walks of life, all regions of the United States, all different tribes. They come from different backgrounds. They're involved in healthcare, in tribal governance, in the arts. And we really believe that it takes all these different types of community members to have effective leadership and that everybody has something to contribute to their community. 